Thank you all for being here. Right now, right here. My name is Michael Lyons. I'm the current board president of Get Oil Out. And this is Carla Frisk. She's a longtime board member. I'll quickly go over some facts we've heard probably 10 times tonight, but I think it, it always deserves repeating. On January 28, 1969, a disaster hit Santa Barbara of unbelievable proportions when Platform A in the Santa Barbara Channel blew out. Within 24 hours, a group of concerned citizens got together to see what they could do about this catastrophe. They called themselves Get Oil Out. Goo. They began by addressing numerous facets of responding to the oil spill and then moved on to address the overreaching cause of the spill, oil development in the Santa Barbara Channel. Get Oil Out has been working continuously for the past 50 years to rid the channel of existing oil development and to prevent any new projects from being approved. We've had some significant successes, such as the relinquishing of 40 oil leases in federal waters and 18 oil leases in state waters. And we have the California Coastal Sanctuary, which prohibits any new oil leasing within three miles of the coast. Get Oil Out still has much work ahead, and we will hear more from Carla about that in a few moments. But now we pay tribute to the late Bud Bottoms, one of our founders. Bud moved to Santa Barbara in 1948 to study art at the University of California, Santa Barbara, when it was back up on the Riviera. I don't remember that, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, <laughs> as an outdoorsman, he spent much of his free time enjoying the mountains and the sea. His following words express his love for our natural environment, and especially the ocean and the sea life, which inspired his art. Bud's dolphin fountain, located at the base of the Santa Barbara Stearns Wharf, has been viewed and appreciated by millions of people over the years and continues to be a hallmark of Santa Barbara's coastline. These are some of Bud's words that reflect his love for Santa Barbara. We live in Santa Barbara because we believe it's the most beautiful and unique environment in the world. We cherish it as much today as we did back when oil platforms began protruding from, the, from out of the pristine ocean horizon. We could not comprehend how humans just like us could destroy such a beautiful ocean and island vista. We could no longer go to the sea for enjoyment or peaceful contemplation because of those platforms. We pray that they will soon be gone so that future generations can enjoy the uncluttered sea we once had. I want to thank Bud's wife, Carol Ann, for sharing those words with us, her other family members, the other family members that are here today, and she's also here today. And thanks also to Isaac Hernandez so very much for the film clip that you're about to see. That was January 28th, 1969, and I got a phone call from Dick Smith. He was the artist and writer for uh, the news press. He had just been to the island and was flying back over the channel. And he called me and said, there's a big blowout underneath the platform A. And I said, what do you mean by blowout? He said, there's oil coming up from underneath the platform, all over the place. And I screamed out, we gotta get oil out. I go down and pick up dead birds. I had a stack of dead birds. I, I picked up probably 50 or 100, and 
stood behind them and had my picture taken with them. But they couldn't save any birds because they didn't know how to clean them. I don't think one survived. Pretty sad to see a dead dog on the beach. And even over on the Channel Islands, there were sea lions that had oil on them. And the females couldn't feed the babies, and babies wouldn't suckle. So they would perish. The community was irate. They were really mad, and they went to the beaches, and the surf was still because the oil was so heavy coming ashore that you didn't hear the pounding of the ocean. It just came ashore and just slopped. People stood there and cried. The community went by the hundreds down the beach and just stood there and cried. We wrote a uh, petition to get oil out of the channel, and people from all over the world sent their names and addresses that they were against oil in San Francisco Channel. So before law, we had 200,000 signatures. We stopped all the trucks from going on the wharf. We just lined up from there, made them back down. <laughs> Thank you, Bud Bottoms. Goo brought hope to Santa Barbara residents by providing a rallying point to react to and even to grieve about the damage created from the largest oil spill in the planet's history at that time. You saw that in the, in the film. That hope is still alive and strong. Today we are at a crossroads though. The good news is that there are six platforms in the Santa Barbara channel that are slated for removal. Yeah. More that are becoming closer every day. The bad news, as you've already heard, is that the Trump administration wants to lease every square inch of our ocean for more offshore development. Ooh. And new technologies have brought new threats from fracking, acidizing, and steam injection that exacerbate climate change. We must all say no way to these ill-conceived oil schemes. We ask you to step up, as you've been asked already, we ask you to join Get Oil Out. We ask you to join one or more of the other terrific organizations that are here today and be part of the solution. So let's start now with three big Get Out Oil Out shouts on the count of three. Let's hear it loud and clear. One, two, three. Get, Get Oil Out! Get Oil Out! Get Oil Out! Thank you. Yeah.